rotting modern steaders. So you know, we have the root cellar. If you haven't seen our root cellar, if you haven't seen us building it, I'll put a link to those videos right here. We have a root cellar, we have a pretty cool door. I'm very happy with where the door came up, but we need a door handle for it. And I was trying to think of a door handle that would fit the door. The branch style door handles that I make, I don't think are gonna be rugged enough. So I'm like, I need kind of like an old metal door pull. Where can I get one? Well, I don't want to get one. I want to make one. How can I make one? So I was thinking. I went to the store the other day. I got some half inch rod and I got a wood stove that we can crank up and get going pretty good. So stay with me here for a minute. I think we can use the wood stove as our forge and we can hand forge our own door poles. That's what we're going to try to do today. Let's see how it works out. We have a lot of airflow control on our wood stove. Over here we have a knob that you can open and close air going into the wood stove through the air intake. I have a damper control on my wood stove to let more air out. I have a thermometer so I know if my stove pipe's getting too hot, we can shut it down. And then we also have, this opens up inside, it closes off the flue or it opens it, and if it's closed it makes the gas go back up and get reburnt before it can go up and out the flue. So if we need even more heat, we can open this up. But before we do that, this morning I was making templates to figure out how long of an area I wanted to screw the screws through, how deep I wanted from the pull to the door. And I think I settled on inch and a half, inch and three quarters, six inches. We had some other ones here, and I don't think this is gonna give you enough room between the door and the handle. I'm going to take my three-sided file and make a mark. This way I know where my bends are going to go. The sharpie mark will get burnt off in the fire. Back in, reheat it. Getting there. I think this should do it for this angle.
Did it come out perfect? No. I'm sure I could have bought a lot nicer one. But then again, I wouldn't have a story to go with it. Yesterday the girls took the camera and they were vlogging while I was at work showing you the new Christmas present. I had a good time when I came home, started editing the video, and saw what they did. I thought it was fun. What did you guys think of that extra bonus footage we had in the video yesterday?
Now I wish I had some better camera shots and angles for you, but you gotta work fast because the metal cools down pretty quick. So I don't want to keep changing the Let's install the handle. I didn't think of getting any, but I needed some screws that had a flat head on the back. This is all I have at the house. So it's not going to look the best right now, but we'll replace them later on. But we'll have a screw that we can use. I like it. I'll have to replace the screws. It's not perfect, and that's what we were going for. It's got a nice patina to it. We won't have to put any finishes on it. It'll be perfect the way it is. here will be good. Eh, we can't go there, there's a knot. Let's go right here. Perfect. Temperature is 36.5. It was 32 in here this morning. I opened the door for about five minutes and let it warm up. I'm gonna have to block off the vents on the outside with some foam when it gets really cold like this. You can see the frost on the pipes even with the vents closed. And we don't want our root cellar getting below freezing. I think I'm starting to come down with something. My throat's been bothering me. It's not sore. I think my gold glands are swollen. I've been taking some teas and stuff this morning. I just started doing that to hopefully I can nip it in the butt. Tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'll feel 100% or at least 90. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Mm -hmm.